in with breaking news in the Pike County massacre tonight. The mobile homes of the Roden family where they were found murdered are being moved. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Dwayne Pullman. NBC4's Dan Perlman is live in Pike County right now. Dan, I understand you spoke to the attorney general about this move. Yeah, Dwayne, I actually have them right here. Those trailers, uh, first of all, are here at the Hatzel Chemical Plant, out of sight, but we did actually see them as they were rolling in. And uh, you'll see that video while we are talking to Attorney General Mike DeWine, who is joining me right now. First question I have for you, these trailers, three of them are here now. What is the purpose in moving them to this secure location? Well, we want to be able to secure them, and this is a good place to do it. Uh, you know, we want to have access to them, but we also want to frankly preserve them for the family members. Uh, and up until now, they've been, we've had sheriff's deputies, frankly, from all over the state who've helped us secure these scenes. And so, you know, securing a scene 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, it it's, has a real toll, frankly, on, on the manpower that is, that is down here. And this way, they're going to be inside. Uh, we may even actually shrink wrap them. Um, and we want to preserve them. We want to preserve them for two reasons. One, if we have to go back in and find something or, or look at the layout again. Uh, second, we want to preserve them, frankly, for the families. Uh, the sheriff and I met with the families um, an hour or so ago, and one of the things we told them is we want to preserve this for whoever should have it. And I know the families, a lot of people here around Pike County, around Ohio, just want justice in this case. It's been three weeks. How close are we to finding a suspect or suspects? Well, what the sheriff and I told the family members today uh, is that our goal is not just to find who did it, but to successfully prosecute them. Uh, and that's why you know, we explain we cannot really release much information uh, why we're not doing it. Uh, we would love to be able to do it, but we think that might compromise the investigation and frankly might make it more difficult when we got to court. Uh, they very much understood that. And the one thing I got back from the family members is they want justice. Is there a danger to the family or this community right now with these killer killers on the loose? Well, nothing has happened since that horrible night. Uh, and so I can't guarantee anything. But, uh, you know, we have seen nothing happen. What the sheriff has said is that, you know, he's going to continue to obviously be available to the family members. Uh, he's made that commitment to him, to them. And I think they're, they're satisfied with that. All right. Thank you very much, Attorney General Mike DeWine, for joining us out here. Again, three of the trailers are here at the Hatzel Chemical Plant. As you mentioned, they are in a secure location. They will stay there. There is one more trailer which still needs to be moved here over the coming days. We are live in Waverly. Dan Perlman, NBC4.